Every night here on Fox 9 on your side, we like to take a closer look at the weather this time of the night. And we're talking hurricanes right now. Not something you really think about this time of year, I suppose. Unless you are... A weather whiz kid. Weather whiz kid. Exactly. You never know <laughs> what question you're going to get. This is a great question as well. And it does have to do with hurricanes from Horizon Elementary. Here's the question. My name is Gavin, and I go to Horizon. My question is, why do hurricanes only go on water? Great question, Gavin. Why do hurricanes only go on water, at least form on water? They can go inland. Here's Gavin's picture right here. This is hurricane. There's the eye of the storm system right here. And there's all kinds of stuff going on and swirling in the wind. So, uh, again, hurricanes need about 80-degree water to form. They need a lot of energy. They need warm water. It needs to be warm enough to really... You can hold a lot more moisture, by the way, that warmer air and warmer water. So you get more evaporation and cooling and latent heat release. There's all kinds of things going on. On the hurricane, the engine that is the hurricane. It's the eye wall, the donut, right around the center of the eye here. It's this warm moisture, but it is clear generally in the middle. But this eye wall is just thunderstorms, a, a complex network of storms that is causing the air to rise. Cooler air comes in from the bottom to replace it, and it's a very efficient energy. It is a warm core storm. There's no cold about it. In the wintertime, you have warm and cold. In the summertime, it is just warm. So you need very warm ocean water. 80 plus degree water is what you need. And typically, an Atlantic Ridge will take that uh, wind flow and push these storm systems towards the United States, sometimes curving up to the north, sometimes slamming into Florida. It kind of sticks out of here. That's why it get hits, uh, gets hit so hard there. So you need at least 80 degree water. And that's why when you look at the peak of hurricane season, you see it right here. This is when the ocean temperatures are warmest. Now, late August and it's September. There's another secondary peak in here as well. Uh, it has to do with the way the wind field changes a little bit. But it's basically the warm water that makes the difference and that destructive force of that storm system, the stronger those winds, uh, of course, the more damage you'll get from it. And rolling that warm water we talk about has to be at least 150 feet deep. And the reason for that, there's so much wind churning up the ocean. If you bring up cooler water, of course, the net effect is you drop the temperature of the water. So in the tropics, you've got plenty of warm water to deal with. And around New Orleans, the water temperature can be as hot as 90 degrees at times. So that's why you're getting those wow. storms down yeah, there. Yeah, bath water. All exactly. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Great question tonight. Well, in the